Hi everybody, it's Bonkai922. Well, last night, briefly state this, my internet was on the fritz again. But everything's been solved. Everything. Everything's been solved, taken care of. I went to, um, uh, what should we call it? Oh yeah, Staples. At Staples, got a new router, much better one, called Cisco Link System. Pretty expensive. Nah, it's a little bit better than the other one I had. And I got a new printer as well. So, that's the story there. Okay, moving on. Before I get into this Kenichi chapter, I don't want to bring out people's names. J.P. Mixia. The only thing I'm going to say to you right now is this. Man... I got respect for you, man. I got respect for him. So anybody who's like, you know, um, disliking his video, you know, he's made some interesting... I looked at his video. I mean, I don't want to go off too much. This is Kenichi review. He made some interesting points. But at the same time, I have to say... Ah, I don't know if I'm going to do a video response to his video he did, if anybody's seen it. You know, he was basically talking about how old anime... Huh? Say, oh, what? In other words, he was basically going into the fact, oh, old anime doesn't... It doesn't mean you have to watch old anime to become an anime fan. That's true. But, should it really say... That Yu Yu Hakusho isn't a great series. And you shouldn't say that, you know, DBZ isn't really that good either. And why? Because those shows paved the way for the shows of today. And that's all I'm going to say on it. Moving right along. Moving right along. Okay, Kenichi. Uh, 489... This one was the conclusion. <clears throat> the epic conclusion. Oh, man. Oh, man. Kata jumps off this freaking cliff building. This guy who's trying to kill them. Man, it's like, oh, suspenseful. Oh, no, no. Kata, you know, everyone's freaking out. And, um, and we get a scene, you know, with Takeda saying, oh, you Kata, must have going on with you, Kata. Uh, he feels like something, it's just my imagination. And... And then we see, um, uh, what's his face? Takeda's master. He's right there. He, like, punches a wall. I think he punches a wall through a building. I was like, holy shit. By the way, this is getting a four, and four out of five. Just, just alone, four out of five for the, for the building thing. That was just, oh, man. And he's, like, saying, oh, I told you, and yet... You do such unreasonable things for someone who have not. Now, the interesting thing about this chapter was of two things. Um, one was this thing with um, Yukata. The other thing was Takeda, Kaikada, Yukata, and Takeda. Kata and Takeda. Takeda is master, more specifically. And basically saying, oh, you know, but, you know, he spec nothing less from Takeda, Takeda's friend, best friend. Um, and we get an interesting thing with, with uh, Kisame, Akasame, Ak Akasame um, and Takeda's master. And we find, I finally find out who this guy's name is, is Shiba. Now, Shiba, he, um, he's got a different view than Akisame, a totally different view on the situation. And he's, like, pointing fingers. At least that's what I thought it was, it felt it was, in this chapter. It felt like in, two, in 489, 
I'm going to name this chapter, I actually don't know the name of the chapter. I'll make up my own. Anyway, um, uh, and he's like saying to him, well, you should consider holding those feelings deeply. Um, and saying, and then we got Takeda saying he's sorry because he caused you trouble. And he's like, it's all my fault that I get praise instead of being blamed. And he's like, shoot oh, they all they're chasing each other. Wait till you um, and he's saying, like, to expose those these children to such a danger without any reason. You get away from here. It's only a small punishment. And he gets he, he, Akisabe's eyes glowing and shit. I was like, oh shit, this is awesome. Um, and he's running after Shiba. And then he jumps over Mew. Um, you, you, and, you know, enjoying the tea. And that's when he interestingly says an interesting thing to Mew. Mew. You began to release your key. He wasn't there, but he knew. He knew that she said that, oh, you, just by looking at her, he could realize that you're releasing your key, meaning he's, she's going down the path. Interesting. That's why I'm giving this a four out of five. Because of that that thing right there, it was just amazing. Sorry, I'm picking my nose. <laughs> um, got, and he said, those guys from Vincent Paku, they were aware of that. They left that alone. And he's like saying, I caught up with you, you know, and everything else. And then, he begins to try to hit his statue and everything. This this his Buddha statue, and then an interesting quote from Shiva, which I thought was very interesting in this episode, in this chapter. <laughs> he said, oh, you know, do you dare to make your disciple go, f go forward on the path of full that's full of hardships? And the same thing in value for the girl, but... To involve your disciple in the karma, karma of martial arts, if you want my opinion, that's the most sinful act that a master can do. You shouldn't plant irresponsible, dream, irresponsible dreams in people who have not. And then Kenichi was like doing an epic kind of shonen speech. And he says, I was the one who chose that path. I want to go get closer to the world of the people important for me, even if it's for a little bit. This is the path I choose. And then, you know, everyone's like Shiratori and, and, and Kisara and Mew, they're all looking at him and shit. And he's like. And then he's like saying to himself, um, Shiba, oh, I'm fed up with these immature kids. He broke one arm. And then we then and then we then get an interesting thing after that. It's really just bullshit going on. Um, a conversation between Takeda and Shiratori. Guess what? Shiratori? Raise your hand if you thought Shiratori was a man. Yeah, I thought he was a guy. Well. Uh, and they're basically talking, saying the feelings, which is not, which you at least not, I became a little envious of Q's. Kisari -sa Kisara Sama saying, Oh, Chitaka, come in, join us. And then he takes off the clothes, and Shiratori is a woman. Let me say that again. A woman. What? Even watching the original Kenichi, the anime, I it never crossed my mind and I'm not going crazy over this and I should save my craziness for sort of online but is a woman huh so hey go figure you know is a woman <laughs> you're what is it? uh tell me something about because you know Moosey likes to say so now, Shiratori likes Yukata. And I'm like, oh my god. So this whole time, Yukata is like upset and, and depressed. 
goes, and I'm like, it's a woman. Jesus. I'm like, give me a break. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. And then we get a scene with Yukata and uh, Yukata and Takeda and Yukata. I can't say those names. I get those names confused. Um, you know, saying um, how that, oh, he knows that she was originally a woman. And then we see Vio, she's like, I was sure he knew it. Ooh, like a little heart thing. And it's like, I didn't know that either. Yeah, I'm with Kenichi. So me and Kenichi, uh, yeah, we, 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 we are in the same boat. Is a woman? Come on now. Really? A woman? That just blew me off. I was like, what? Wow. Oh, crazy. Um, four out of five, like I said before, this was, I liked, I liked Sheba. I like Sheba. She was like, he's, um, he's there to say, okay, this is all good and well, but, you know, you've gone down the path of dangerness. Of danger. You've gone down, you've decided to go down the path of, um, uh, you know. You know what I mean? He's gone down to that path. I think I'm gonna, that might be the, that might be the thumbnail. That, that whole thing with, with Shiba and, and Akisame. Yes? How does the rub look? It looks fine. Oh, yeah. So yeah. That's my mom. Don't mention it. Don't don't take attention to that. Anyway, it, it's it's very I find it very interesting now that um we have this this you know meeting of Shiba and Akisame and you have Shiba telling Akisame, are you really you're the foolish one by sending your your disciple and this girl down the path by the down that's the name of the chapter karma of martial arts the bad karma of martial arts and that's basically the whole gist of this chapter i mean it was uh, you know keda doing what he was doing falling off and what have you but it was really that meeting between shiba and akisami so that's the story there this was a good chapter i liked it i Tell me what you guys think about it. Comments below. You know the story. Um, what else do I have? <laughs> Just thinking what else I have to do tonight. Oh, yeah. Got a bunch of stuff. XL World. Campioni. Fairy Tale. See, XL World, Campioni, Fairy Tale, Bimbo Gamiga, and One Piece and Sword Art Online. If what happened and that sort of online happened that I think happened, prepare to see Bonkai 922 go really crazy. Like, whoa. But I haven't seen it yet. I got a little spoiled from some people. A little spoiled, but least, least to say, it should be interesting. Okay, so that's all I got for you guys for Bonkai 922, Kenichi. Karma of Martial Arts, like I said, this was a very good chapter, 4 out of 5. Uh, we'll see what happens going forward. I think this is a good setup. This was like more or less like action and a setup. This was a setup chapter. That's the way I look at it. A setup chapter in... She's a woman? I'll leave you with that, those thoughts again. A woman. See you guys later.